What we're going to do now is really important. It'll be, it's actually quite rewarding. We're going to see some features in, this, in the gamma rays spectrum of cesium that you're going to be able to make sense of with the first couple of weeks of modern physics, physics from 17 to We're going to take some data. This is cesium-137. We see the so-called photo peak here. And if we wait for a while, there's a couple of other features. Look, there's a, a plateau and then a sudden drop. Why is this happening? This is called the Compton edge. This is happening because these, uh, the gamma rays corresponding to this photo peak here, there's numbers increasing, there's numbers in these channels are increasing because um, a gamma ray dumped all its energy into the sodium iodide crystal. But the gamma ray doesn't have to hit the sodium iodide crystal. It could hit the aluminum surrounding it or something, and Compton scatter back into the crystal with lower energy from an, from um, an electron on the outside. So all along here, we've got loads of what could have been these um, 662 keV gamma rays. But what happened instead was they hit something else, hit an atomic electron, like I say, maybe in the Europe in the aluminum cladding, maybe in the photo detector or something, and they backscatter into the sodium iodide detector, then giving you a lower energy gamma ray. It's lower energy because of Compton scattering. And so this is the maximum Compton scattered uh, gamma ray you can get corresponding to this peak. So if you know where this peak is, you'll be able to get where the plateau is. You should analyze for all these, you should analyze for many of these um, sources, the Compton edge. Every photo peak has a corresponding Compton edge. Okay. Exciting. And now, 